So yeah, I don't recommend developing flexibility super quickly like I'm gonna try to in this video because you might weaken the areas you're stretching. Um, if you stretch too fast, you could pull it like right away. You could be more prone to injury in the future, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, for this video today, I'm gonna attempt to achieve the full split. Oh, crap. Now I wanna make it clear, I'm already kind of flexible. You guys may have seen in you know many of my previous videos. However, I have never achieved the full splits ever before. I've gotten pretty close going down like the lunge way, you know, like this way, but going straight down the middle, never ever. So I plan to develop this flexibility, hopefully safely today using two methods really. Basically the first one is I'm just gonna be stretching constantly throughout the day. Every couple of sets, I'm gonna stretch the key target area. So I'm gonna stretch, you know, mainly my groin, my hamstrings, seated straddle, butterfly stretch, Maybe, oh, the frog stretch too. That's a really good one for hitting the groin. And I'm gonna also just, you know, do some full split attempts and that'll help stretch out the area. Also a second technique I will be doing that is kind of dangerous, but is effective. It's called PNF stretching. I kind of forgot what that acronym stands for, but basically what you do is you hold a stretch, you get comfortable, right, in the stretching position, then you flex the muscles being stretched, and then relax, and then you can go a little bit deeper. Yeah, kind of dangerous, but it actually really helps quick flexibility development, all right? I know this is kind of a stupid idea, right? But uh, I feel like a lot of people will be interested in, you know, quick flexibility development. So once again, I would not recommend doing this for you might get injured, but you know what? I'm gonna do it for the video. But you gotta focus. All right, so let's see where I'm at right now. Okay. Oh, I heard the pops. See, I'm already pretty close, right? Oh, okay. A couple of degrees to go. I can feel my uh, groin injury that I had like two years ago kind of acting up. <laughs> One more reason why I shouldn't be doing this. Lunge way. I think I'll have better luck with this. I heard it's supposed to be easier. Oh, okay. That's full right there. So, I'm going to be holding those static poses in between my sets um, today as we go work out and train. And that's really gonna just help the muscles lengthen. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a very light static stretching routine. I'm just gonna hold these basic positions for about 100 seconds each. And I'm gonna relax into it. I'm not gonna push hard. I'm just gonna allow my muscles to relax. And I'm hoping because I am cold right now, um, it's gonna stretch more of like the tendons and ligaments, help the joint capsules adjust to this weird stretching that I'm gonna be doing. But I'm, I'm just gonna go lightly once again because I'm not even warm. First stretch, we're doing seated straddle for 100 seconds. And I'm just gonna lean into it and I'm gonna count to 100. Really try to pull this in there, really hit the groin. Frog time, the twerky twerking stretch. All right, so uh, that's a wrap for right now, um, but we're gonna go to the park now. I'm gonna be training outside, and luckily it's warm out, which is perfect for developing flexibility, nice and warm. Um, so we're gonna be doing some flips outside, stuntman training for those of you guys who are like, this is the first video you watched them on, you're like, dude, what do you even do, man? Well, we'll just call it stuntman training, but what I'm doing is called tricking, okay? You wanna learn how to trick, you gotta go to Kojo's Trick Lab. All right, so it is like 88 degrees out. That's perfect for developing flexibility. Nice and warm. High knees. Ah. Ah. Oh. Just so we don't get any questions about this. I know that kind of looks wrong out here. So I'm feeling a bit of tension in my groin, in my old groin injury that I injured like two years ago doing a flare. Basically I tried to go super hard when I was already tired doing a flare and it just like felt like it popped. Hasn't been right since. 
But no, I've been working with it. It's it's all right. If you guys want to learn some of these flips, check out my tutorials. If you guys are really thinking about getting into tricking or you already are and you want to take it to the next level, if you guys want some online coaching, check out Kojo's Trick Lab. You guys might have heard me talk about this in last week's vlog, but um, Kojo's got a real good thing going. If you guys don't know Kojo, he's like one of the best trickers in the world. Kojo's Tricking Lab, that's his website. Sign up for a monthly subscription. You get an insider uh, to all the videos and stuff he's got going on. Um, messaging him, you can show him your tricks and he'll message you back. And depending on the plan you sign up for, you can send him a certain amount of your videos and he'll take a look at it and tell you what you're doing wrong and help you out with your tricks like one-on-one -on -one online. So yeah, tricking, that's what we're doing here. All right, let's go. Reviewing this footage, I, I noticed that during my 540 kicks, my right leg is actually getting a lot straighter. Um, it used to be really straight, but then I got that stupid injury. And um, ever since my you know right leg, just I just can't extend it all the way on a 540 kick. But uh, just stretching in between these sets has really uh, helped my leg uh, start to open back up. And well, I'm surprised to see what this brings. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm making subtle progress, but it's starting to really slow down and really get pretty tight. So I'm just gonna be taking it easy. I'm gonna try to do a lot more stretching sets in between these flare um, sessions. Swimming pool. Oh man, sunny out. Back outside, so I'm planning to make some real progress out here. I'm gonna start implementing the PNF stretching. Wait, but first I'm gonna get warmed up doing some lunges. Um, really long lunges too. Like, they're gonna look weird. All right, everybody's gonna laugh at me. Those guys over there are gonna laugh at me. All right, I feel pretty relaxed right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to flex my groin and hamstrings, and I'm gonna relax, and then I'm gonna push a little bit more into it. Dangerous, so you gotta be careful here. So, relaxing. You gotta be careful, man. This is dangerous. Hold that for about 10 seconds or so. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. Breathe deep. Try to go more into it. Oh man, and it works. You gotta be careful, man. You're dealing with more than just muscles. You're dealing with ligaments, tendons, your joints, everything. So you gotta be careful with this. Oh. 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 I really need to just stick to the task at hand, man. Gonna go for it right now. Oh, so close! I'm just gonna hold this. Oh, seated straddle off. PNF exercise again. So sit in the seated straddle, flex it, relax, then dive in more. Cause that works pretty well. I don't know why I didn't expect this to, you know, feel as uncomfortable as it is, but yeah. I think my hamstrings are tighter than I thought. I'm gonna do some PNF with some sit and reach. It's gonna be so uncomfortable. Flex those hamstrings and then relax. Oh, it works, look. Kinda dangerous, but it is effective, not gonna lie. It's tight, you gotta be careful, you gotta control the flex. You don't wanna cramp up. I'm just gonna head home now, and when I get home, I'm gonna 
do this some more in the basement and hopefully I'll get it. I'm feeling like I'm gonna get it real soon. If not, I'm gonna try a little foam roller technique, but I'm gonna keep pushing until I get it and hopefully I get it when, by the time I get home. Finish this. Let's do it. Wow, look at that, I'm almost there. Oh, okay. So now that I'm cold, it's actually perfect for me to hold a long pose to further help stretch out my tendons and ligaments. Just like I did in the beginning, I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna warm up a little bit more and then I'm gonna go back to PNF stretching and hopefully we'll hit the splits in like, you know, 30 minutes or so. So, ready to go. Kinda looks like I'm already doing the splits right now, but I still got some ways to go. About 100 seconds. All right, oh my, easy out. Did about 100 seconds there. I'm actually gonna do the pigeon. Um, you guys saw the stretching video I posted last week. You know what the pigeon is? It's like this. But I'm actually really gonna work on that back leg. So I'm gonna do it with my uh, back arch to like this. All that we All right, guys, I'm just gonna go for it. So full attempt one, I guess. Ready? Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Oh, crap. Relax. Oh, yeah. Well, it's getting tight, bro. Oh. I'm just gonna sit. Oh, no, 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 it's too, too soon. Oh, okay. Too soon, too soon, too soon. We're gonna get it, we're so close. All right, take a breather. Oh, I think my hamstrings are actually kind of tight, so I'm gonna do another sit and reach. Oh, man, stretching is exhausting. Stay hydrated, that's important when you're stretching. Gosh, darn it. So I'm getting close, but just a cool little extra push here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like the seated straddle on it. I'm gonna you know, tilt into it in the seated straddle. I'm gonna try to straighten my leg on it. My idea behind this is it's gonna, you know, push up on the muscle a little bit to lengthen it. So give me like a little extra mechanical boost here. It's kind of awkward, actually, very awkward. So it's really hitting my hamstring. And that's good because my hamstring is actually really tight. Let's try to relax, Let's try to relax on it. expecting uh, stretching to be this exhausting, but when you're really pushing it for quite a while, I think it just fatigues you. All right guys, so hopefully without getting an injury here, we're gonna try to touch down to the ground. starting to pull this uh, this one a little bit. I think I'm gonna hit it more with the foam roller. You guys have been looking at me in the front, so when I'm doing the straddle, the straddle it probably looks like I'm pretty close, but my, my legs are like this, you know? If I'm sitting down on the ground, there's still an angle. But when I did them there, I was, you know, 180 degrees, you know what I mean? It was, it was, bam. So my whole idea behind doing this video was actually when I made that 25 stretches video, I realized how tight I actually was. Um, I used to be a little bit more flexible back, you know, a couple years ago. Um, but, you know, I just haven't been stretching too thoroughly in and out each day. I've been stretching, you know, here and there once a week, especially when I make a video for you guys because I want to be a good example. So, um, other than that though, man, I gotta be honest, I've been kind of slacking. So I've kind of gotten tight over these last couple of months. And the idea behind this was just to give me a challenge to really push myself and to get back into stretching. And hopefully I'll stick with stretching 
more, not just the groin, but the whole entire body. So yeah, I guess this is kind of, uh, you know, not exactly what I need to be working on, but I like a good challenge. Oh, man. All right. So I just reviewed that footage and I actually didn't have my first touchdown. I was like a millimeter off the ground. Just relax into it, relax into it, touchdown. I got this. I should show you guys from the side. I'll show you guys from the side once I get it, because I'll do it again. All right, so you guys can see that I'm actually 180 degrees. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting easier. Oh, I think I had, I think I had a touchdown. Just to show you guys that there's no shenanigans going on here. Yep. We did. Just don't make too much fun of my small calves, alright? Going for that touchdown. Okay. Nice. Going out. Oh! 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 reviewing the footage I just kind of realized how awkward this is but yeah this is for uh, you know scientific purposes all right one more dude there we go oh oh frick oh I want to get one on the side so you guys know that I'm not going like this so you guys can see that there's no angle I'm actually going completely straight See it completely straight. Do you see? Straight, baby. Uh, touchdown. Touchdown. Oh! I lifted my hands. Oh! oh. The lunge way is actually supposed to be easier, but I was closer to that in the beginning, so I didn't really work on that because I wanted to work on what was harder for me. But let's see if I can just nail that down. You can turn one leg in the back like that. Actually tight, really tight. Yeah, that way is a little easier. Let's try going back like this. Okay. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Ow. All right. That that was supposed to be easier, but because I've been stretching mostly straddle and not exactly like deep lunges, a little bit, but not as much. That was about the same difficulty. Honestly, a little harder. Now I'm actually just stretching out the opposing muscles because those got neglected pretty much today so yeah what time is it right now let's see 642 we started at 130 so that's actually pretty good in only about five hours we significantly improved our flexibility basically just stretching throughout the day and then using the pnf stretching technique i'm gonna give a thumbs up for that little foam roller hack there that actually kind of helped loosen out the last like centimeter or so so sorry if this video was kind of awkward so there was some moments in this video where you know it got kind of weird but guys you know it's stretching it is kind of weird you know what i mean <laughs> so with with that being said guys once again i wouldn't recommend pushing your flexibility too fast like in this video but within this video are some useful techniques to maybe help you break through a plateau but like i said go slower um techniques we covered stretching while you're cold going very light on those stretches because you're going to be really working the tendons, joints, ligaments. So you don't want to, you know, push the muscles too far. You just want, kind of want to relax into those stretches when you're cold and hold them for, you know, a minute plus. Um, we did 100 seconds in this video. Other techniques were stretching while you're warm. So stretching throughout your workout. That technique I actually wouldn't really recommend doing unless you're very inflexible because when you stretch you know in between your sets throughout a workout it's gonna put you into a relaxed mode honestly I noticed throughout the whole entire day that every time I stretched I was pretty relaxed afterwards and it was kinda of hard to get back into it um, the final technique the PNF stretching so the, I think peripheral nerve system, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation PNF stretching that is where you hold a stretch for about like 30 seconds or so and then you flex for about 10 20 seconds then you relax and then you can go deeper into the stretch. Another technique would be having a partner help you, but you know, better be someone you trust. Didn't have a partner today. Um, and the final technique I used was the 
foam rolling technique. I just put the foam roller on the muscle being stretched and I held it out a little bit longer. And uh, well that, you know, cause it's kind of pushes on it a little bit, kind of just help crank out that last centimeter. And then finally, just kind of attempting it a few times and maybe not getting it the first time, but you know, taking a minute break in between each attempt, believe it or not, because you are straining that muscle when you're stretching it. Yeah, treat it like an exercise almost. If you guys are looking to get in shape, check out my 12 week calisthenics program, Bodyweight Beast. I know I didn't do a Bodyweight Beast workout today. All I did was really some lunges, but you know, I just made myself focus on this task of developing this flexibility throughout these last five hours. Um, but yeah, check out my 12 week calisthenics program, Bodyweight Beast, onlykindsfitness.com. You guys are giving me a lot of positive feedback. Those of you guys who have purchased the program already, um, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Peace. Y'all have a good one. And I'll see you in the next movie. All right, come on. Let's walk upstairs. Uh, Granny's so